Hello friends. I thought I would come on here. I was about to do my hair and I was getting a question the other day about what to do after you've done your hair the day before. How do you maintain those curls? What do you do with those curls? So second day hair, what to do now? Live tutorial for you guys. I'm going to leave you guys my shopping link right here in the comments. So this is where you can find all of the makeup or not makeup, all of the hair products and hair tools that I'm going to be using and pin that there. I did just get finished doing my makeup live, so that's where the makeup thing came from. But um, if you want to see the replay on this makeup look, go ahead and find me here on Facebook by searching Raya Hope, and that's where you can find my tutorial. So I'll wait for just a few more minutes, and then we'll wait for everyone to get here, because the key part is coming up on what to do with your second day hair. So in the meantime, if you're new, if you've never seen one of my tutorials before, go ahead and hashtag newbie in the comments so I can welcome you. If you've never tried Lange before, go ahead and say Lange newbie. And if you want, say hi. I hope you do. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. So I just threw my hair up in this little half up, half down when I was doing my makeup. So let me take it down so you can see what we're working with here. This is straight wild. I didn't brush my hair at all this morning, which is perfect because now you get true, <laughs> you get true um, look at what we're working with. Awesome, hi Jan, thanks for being here. All right, so step one on you woke up from yesterday's curls how to salvage them or redo them. So what I like to do is if I see any curls that look savable, I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna very light handedly comb through because I don't wanna like straighten the curl if I'm gonna try to fix it. This, I mean, this is not savable. So we're gonna go ahead and brush our hair pretty well with this side. Same thing with the back. Now this brush is one of my absolute favorites. This is the Sienna Paddle, Sienna Paddle Brush. These are the only brushes my daughter, who has a very sensitive head and curly hair, will let me brush her hair with. It glides through your hair. It's better than a wet brush. It is the only brush that literally brushes your hair without pulling it or getting tangled or getting stuck. If you have a sensitive head, curly hair, or just really hard to brush hair, the Sienna Paddle Brush is for you. So I'm going to just go ahead and brush some of that out. Okay, so we still have some of our waves from the day before. Um, as you can see, they're still kind of there. So I actually didn't style my hair out all yesterday. I didn't curl it, didn't do nothing. So everything you see here is actually from two days ago. I mean, like round of applause, right? So the first thing that I'm gonna do is use this product. So this is called the Satin Nectar. If you guys didn't know, Lange actually has a whole travel section of small miniature products. I just grabbed this out of my bag because as you guys know, we went on a huge two week long vacation in our motorhome. So I brought all of my travel size Lange stuff because it was smaller for the motorhome. So if you guys didn't know, Lange also has travel size. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to apply this all throughout my hair. So what the Satin Nectar is good for, it's a heat protectant, but also it has so many wonderful healing ingredients in it. So this is also a really, really good product if you have split ends or just dryness. You can use this fresh out of the shower or you can use this on dry hair. It make, It's super, as you can see, it's a super silky, soft material or product. <laughs> so it's really gonna give your hair a lot of hydration, which is really nice, especially if we're gonna do a second day hair. I've never had bangs now. I don't think I ever had bangs as a child either. I'm like trying to think back. I think I had bangs for like a weekend, um, but that was because I had, this was like years ago, before I started using Lange, I had like a bunch of breakage and <laughs> I just wore it as bangs for a minute. Sorry, I just realized my button was undone. Okay, so after we've done our satin nectar, um, that can replace a heat protectant because it does have a heat protectant inside here. So really good product. I love the travel size. If you guys haven't seen that launch has that travel sized. And then again, I'll kind of brush through because I don't want any, if I put anything anywhere, I don't want it to be built up. Um, no, you're thinking of another product uh, that they have that does come in an orange container, but no, this is called the Satin Nectar Nourishing Gloss. So Nourishing Gloss. Okay, so very lightly brush. Um, yeah, that's sorbet, thank you. 
Um, and then we did our satin nectar. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn on our Laduo. This is the tool I'm gonna use today and I'm gonna press and hold and select 360. That's the temperature I'm gonna use it on. And then I'm gonna take this product right here which is called the Style Revival Dry Shampoo. And we're gonna need this. So this is gonna be not only an oil absorber, so any of those second, third day hair, this is gonna help to absorb any of those oils, but this is also gonna act as a texturizer. So it's gonna help with so much volume to our hair, and it's gonna help our hair curl even better. So gonna go ahead and I, as you saw, I did like my root, and then I did kind of like the top layers with the Style Revival. So the reason that I love this dry shampoo above any other is this one actually has really healthy ingredients in it for your hair. So it's going to absorb all of that, but it also has, um, let's see, I think it has curatine in it, but it has so many healthy ingredients in it that really help to nourish your hair as well as absorbing that oil. So went ahead and applied that, and now my Le Duo is ready. So we're gonna kind of section off our hair, pushing it towards the front and then we're gonna start to place these curls. So I'll go ahead and grab one inch sections at a time, just like so. See how it's already kind of sticking with that little wave we had? And now what's nice about having these second, third day curls is it doesn't take any time at all. It Your flat iron glides through and the curls kind of remember which way they were going and it just like, it's so much faster. Awesome. Hi, Jessica. Thanks for being here. So if you guys have any questions as far as like what products to use, what tool to get, just comment them below and I have no problem while I'm doing this answering your guys' hair questions. Um, or if you need any help picking out products, just comment what type of hair you have. Whether you have short oily hair, long thick hair, uh, hard to curl hair, baby hair, I don't know, <laughs> any type of hair you have. Just comment it below and I'm always so happy to help you. But everything I'm using is available on my website that I pinned in the comments. Um, and if you're still not sure, you can always message me and I'll give you my link. But they are having a really awesome sale right now and that's actually listed at the top of the website. So when you are on my web, this link down here, make sure to scroll to the top or look at the top before you scroll down at the current offer. But the Laduo is one of my favorite tools. So this is what I'm using today. And this is gonna be perfect, perfect Melanie. This is perfect for hard to curl hair. And the reason is, is it actually has a clamp like a uh, curling iron, but it has plates of a flat iron. So it's a awesome hybrid of the two. So it really is super easy at getting these gorgeous, perfect little barrel curls. And it's not difficult whatsoever. Uh, and I always tell you guys, if you are having a hard time with your brand new tool, practice makes better. So just keep going, don't give up, keep practicing, um, and you'll get it. My hair is a few inches past my shoulders, but seems dry. Perfect, I will, Alicia, I'll go ahead and send you a recommendation on what tools and what products I would recommend for you. So stay tuned, I'm gonna message you guys. That's the easiest way for me to be able to give you a full recommendation on tools and products. So if you haven't yet, make sure to say hello by clicking my face. A description window is going to come down and you'll see my name there, Rhea Hope. If you click on Rhea Hope, you'll be able to go to my Facebook page and you'll be able to message me there. That way you can at least see where my message will be going here in a little bit. All right, so now that we have those curls, you guys, they just like fall right back into place. Isn't that so nice? So I'm going to leave it just like that while we do this side. And again, like I said, I kind of push all this hair forward so I can focus on the back, just like so. Has anyone not tried the Laduo yet? That's the tool I'm using and it is amazing at curling your hair. They also have it in a bigger form, a bigger version, which is called the Laduo Grande. So if you have hair that's longer than mine, I would recommend that tool. It's the same exact tool, just longer barrels. So it just helps you accomplish your hairstyle a little bit faster than using a smaller one. I'm using it on the temperature 360, which for me is perfect. I always recommend to play around with the heat because it depends on your hair texture, what temperature you should use it on. If your hair is thinner, 
and a little bit easier to curl, you can start off at a lower temperature. If your hair is thicker, never been color treated before, you'll probably want to start at a higher temperature. So I personally use it at 360, but again, it just depends on what your hair is or your hair texture is. So I always recommend to try a few, but always start on the lower side. But if you're curling and literally nothing's happening, you need to turn up the heat. You can also try moving in smaller sections. So I'm doing about one inch sections here and see how I'm taking my fingers and I'm kind of going through just like this. So you want to make sure that your hair is all moving in the same one direction. If you're having any kinking or uh, tangles going on, it will, applying that heat will not be good for your hair. All right, so same thing here. I'm gonna make sure to get this correct layer. Color, what color? Would you ever go back to your natural hair color? Uh, probably not, only because it took so long to perfect the color I wanted. Um, so, no, I don't know, probably not. But you can see my natural hair color. Super, super dark brown. All right, so same thing here. I saw that you said that you use it on temperature 300. You can try to use it on a hotter temperature because of the vair vents that are on the tool itself. That could be the reason why it's not curling as well um, with a lower temperature. So you, I would suggest trying to turn up the heat and see if that helps. All right, we're just gonna move along. And like I said, I like to take the one inch sections as you see, I kind of go from the top to the bottom and kind of just grab it random. That's gonna really help give you that nice PC look. Now, if you do have longer hair, which I'm kind of learning as my hair grows as well, something that really helps with the curls is doing this. Let me show you. So making sure all this hair is moving in the same direction, take it, slide it all the way to the end and see how I'm curling in, pull, curl again, and then let go is going to give you a really nice beautiful curl. Is it better to start curling short hair from the back? So it's all personal preference. For me it's easier uh, but I don't know. I think I just started doing it this way one day and it just like stuck. Oh I know the spin is definitely something to get used to for sure. which is just like twisting it, twisting it, twisting it in your fingers. You can absolutely alternate curls. I haven't done it with this tool, but it'd be very easy to do it, yeah. I get my hair colored every four to six weeks, more so leaning more on the four. Uh, weeks, but if I have an event like I do this month, I try to wait and do my hair closer to the event just so my hair is like really platinum. So this month is a little different for getting my hair done. Okay, so again, we're going to show you how to curl. So turn, 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 pull, turn, 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 pull, and then release. Thank you. I don't know what nail polish color it is. I'm sorry. It was a number. It was 57, I think. I'll try to ask next time I get my, my nails done what color it was. Now I'm going to have to get my Ladoo out. Yes, girlfriend. Try, try. And definitely make sure you get the Style Revival Dry Shampoo. I feel like that really helps. All right, now on these front pieces, um, I like to go a little bit thinner on sections just so the curls are a little bit like more bouncy. I feel like it really frames your face beautifully. So, but on these little baby hairs, I'll just group all that together. And then use our finger and just kind of like tossle like that. And on the back, I just kind of Feel it with my hands. 
And then when I am like doing my hair for like an event, not just kind of like throwing curls in, um, I will like take a mirror and use it to look at the back of my hair. My favorite mirror to do that with is called the Cami. It's from a company called Fancy. It's like this, so it comes with a base. And then if you pull the base out, you have a handheld mirror. So you can like look at the back of your hair with this. So it makes it really nice and easy to be able to style the back of your hair. So if you're like me and you're constantly like struggling with what does the back look like, using the cami is game changer. But you can message me and I'll give you the link to it. Cause I have a discount code as well. Okay, so enough curls, I think. Good enough, I should say. All right, I'm gonna press and hold this so it turns off. Okay, and then the last product that we're gonna do is the Maxwell hairspray. So I love this hairspray, it's small, but it is mighty, and you're just gonna little spritz, little spritz, and that's gonna really help to hold the style in place without making it super crunchy. So now what I like to do, and now that I have like the full style, what I've been liking to do is take my finger and just kind of like tuck the front side, and then kind of like hard tuck, and then bellow out. So now you kind of have like this like really nice little so I hope you guys enjoyed today's live. Let me know if you guys have any questions or need any help picking out your products. Make sure to shop down here on this little link if you guys need anything at all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys over on my Instagram for the rest of the day. My name there is Rhea Hope. So see you guys soon. Bye.